Have you ever had a bag that you regretted not getting and it suddenly shows up at Neiman Marcus? Stay tuned to find out what I got. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me in the Babe Cave. Today is a collaboration with Julie from Agent Bag Reviews. We both got tempted by the denim drops <laughs> and so she also got a denim bag of her own. So I reached out to her and said, hey, you want to do our collab together on our denim bags we bought and she said yes so go ahead and watch her video i'll link it down below after you watch okay. my video yes this bag i have watched so many videos on i have drooled from afar <laughs> i must have been on ban island when it came out a year ago and i just decided no i'm not gonna get it i'm not gonna get it even though I loved it. Well, it popped up on Neiman Marcus <laughs> and there was 15% back Rakuten cash back. I'll put the link down below. Rakuten is amazing. I ended up getting $50 cash back from this purchase. The bag cost $3.95 and I had Rakuten, which took off the $50 cash back I'll get. And then I signed up for the new customer for Neiman Marcus. You can sign up your emails. If you have multiple emails, use all the emails you have to get that first time customer percentage off. Everybody does it. <laughs> it's okay. Use a different email and you will get the percentage off for your first order. I could not resist. The temptation was there. As you can see, it's the denim bag. This is trending right now, but I I love a lot of denim bags. <laughs> I used to wear a lot more denim jeans, but now I seem to like them in the bags. <laughs> so I will put the camera down so we can unbox it together and then we'll come back and talk about it. I am so excited about this box. <laughs> oh, I have been waiting because I missed out on the last launch of this bag so long that I cannot wait to see it in person. I don't know if you're like me, but do you binge watch YouTube videos on the certain bag before you get the bag? Let me know down below. So let's get this out. This came from Neiman Marcus. Very nice packaging. I can already tell, <laughs> I'm not gonna peek, <laughs> that it's not a return. So I don't know how Neiman Marcus found these bags or how they got them, but I am oh so glad that they re-released them. <laughs> Get rid of that. Okay, the long-awaited, long, long, I missed out so many times and I wanted this exact color and this unboxing is crazy right now. Ah, here we go, boom, yes, super packaged, they even covered up the C, so let me... Now that you've seen that it's the Coach Soft Denim Tabby. Uh, okay, let me unwrap this right now. They even wrapped up the, the strap. I love how they taped this. Oh, yes, the big buckle. Feels like jeans. I'm loving it. Neiman Marcus knows how to wrap up a bag. 
This isn't even leather. Here's the coach dust bag. I'm kind of surprised there's a dust bag. I mean, being denim. But there is some leather on it. It's got that soft, pale blue interior here. Let's look at some details. It should say coach. Yep. Coach right there. Super packaged. Very impressive. <laughs> no damage to this purse. <laughs> even though it's not even leather. Pretty uh, burgundy glazing right there. There's the Creed story patch, whatever you want to call it. There's that. Looks good. The other side has a zipper pocket. With the Vaquetta leather. I love the blue with the Vaquetta leather. You should see my floor right now. Full of wrapping from this packaging. Let's take a look. All the stitching looks good. I love the dark blue. I thought about getting the Coach Outlet, the black version, but I've always wanted this one. There's the Vaquetta tan leather hang tag. Love that. Our favorite, or at least my favorite, a back pocket. And coach right there. The same shape right here cut out for the zipper as my teal colored soft tabby. So it's a little catchy right on these parts right here. I don't know why they did designed it that way. Why wouldn't they just leave the whole thing open? I don't know. So you got to be careful zipping and unzipping. But beautiful. And it is kind of like a distressed seize. I know there's probably some fakes going on with this coach bag. So it's not crisp seize. It's more of a distress seize. I don't know if you can see it in the, the picture. And then this is like a burgundy glazing that right there. And here's the bottom. It's kind of got a yellow stitching and it holds its shape so this is really heavy this buckle but yeah this is this is so pretty I love this over a year I've been watching videos on this bag and you know who you are out there on YouTube that I have been watching these over and over and regretting not getting this I even told you when I was doing the other tabby I have, I regretted not getting this one. Well, no more regrets. I have it now. And I'm happy. There's a little thread right there, but that can be that can be fixed. Let's go on the inside again. Everything looks good. Got the coach tag down down there in the corner. Super cool. I love these soft tabbies, but especially this denim one. Now let's get to the strap. And this has the shoulder strap and the crossbody strap. Wow, there's even packaging on here. Definitely was not a return. Here's the, the long strap. More packaging. And it looks like it has an extra loop to hold your your strap that you have to be careful of not losing that. I it cannot be happier <laughs> to have this in my possession. I did regret not getting it and I bought a bag that I still love and still have. Let me show you. So to substitute the denim soft tabby right here the it's the shoulder bag and the crossbody I went on a hunt for a substitute even though I loved this one and that is this one I've showed on my channel this is the cargo bag and 
you can tell from the C's, they're in the boutique bags, the C's are the white lettering. And on here, I believe this is an outlet bag because it has the dark C's and the light background. But still, they used the the Vachetta, the same Vachetta that they do for the boutique versus the outlet. But I do love this one as well. It has a lot of fun details on it. But now I have this. This. Yes. I dipped my toe into the soft tabby when I got the teal and turquoise navy blue soft tabby. And I love that bag. So I knew that I would love this one as well. So like I said, you know, I got the discounts. Uh, Everything was packaged to the nines. Sometimes you get bags and they're just thrown in a box. This was definitely not one of those. The only complaint is this back zipper. It kind of catches right here when you're unzipping it. Just a little bit. Like, why didn't they make the whole thing that wide? And it narrows right there. But other than that, it is gorgeous. Gorgeous. It was originally $3.95. I got my percent off for a new customer and it was $3.35 and then I got $50 coming back to me from Rakuten Cash. You get cash back quarterly with Rakuten so I got a check from last quarter and it was around $45 so this is a big purchase for me. You know, I typically don't like to spend more than 200 on a bag, especially a contemporary bag. But this, I knew <laughs> I had to have it. I've been wanting it for over a year. I I binge watched a bunch of YouTube creators, you know, that <laughs> that have unboxed this. The details on it, the stitching. I know it's denim, but there is some leather parts, but... Some people probably think it's ridiculous to pay that much on denim, but I don't. <laughs> I mean, some people pay a lot of money for, you know, denim jeans, so why not a denim bag? <laughs> to me, it was worth the extra money. So I I think that I did really good even with the, uh, the price I paid. Because on, you know, Poshmark, Mercari, or eBay, people are asking so much money for these bags and I'm I think that they have replicated these bags a little bit so you kind of got to watch out for the details uh, I don't know that I would trust buying this bag online unless it was from the boutique or a department store I don't know that I would uh, would trust my ability ability to authenticate it so yeah, super happy. Love the, the brass hardware. The stitching's really nice. I am so excited to have this bag <laughs> in my collection. No feet on the bottom, that's okay. I know I know how much this fits based on my other tabby, but let me give you the measurements real quick. Okay. I measured ten and a half at the bottom and about three at the bottom here and about six high. So 10 and a half by six by about three. And of course it has the, the nice shoulder strap and the crossbody strap. And so now I would like to show you what it looks like on me. I'm five foot six, curvier build, and I'll show it as a shoulder bag and a crossbody. So here it is on me crossbody. And you can either have it towards the front or to the side. Here's what it looks like on the side. Super duper cute with jeans, yes. And my shirt does say, I am not spoiled. My husband just loves me. Shoulder drop. Shoulder.
So I am super duper happy that I have this in my collection. Let me know down below if you got it as well when you saw it or did you see my community post. I try to put things that pop up sales wise on my community post so you want to subscribe to my channel so you can not miss those kind of notifications because I was super shocked when I saw someone posted on the Coach Gone Rogue Facebook group that these had popped up again. I was so excited. I zoomed over to see and they sold out they sold out the first day quick and then they were up the second day. I don't know for how long. And uh, let me know down below if you grabbed one or if you already have the Coach Denim Soft Tabby. Let me know. I am so happy <laughs> that I got to grab it again. Don't forget to go over and watch Julie's channel and see what she got in the denim. Subscribe to both of us and hit the bell f for future notifications. And the big like thumbs up button if you like this kind of video. I love handbags and accessories and I'll pop in shorts every once in a while with my dogs or something random, you never know. Or outfit of the day with my purse. So anyway, I appreciate you all coming by and watching and leave me a comment down below. Did you grab one? <laughs> and until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye!